Pittsburgh. Something like half of all couples who marry will divorce. That means almost half stay together. But what if one spouse moves out? Does it mean that the marriage is over? Divorce coach and attorney Latrice Milton joins us with some practical advice. Thank you for being here. Thank you. First of all, no one's goal is to get divorced. So everyone hopes that things will work out, but that doesn't always mean that it will. Correct. Yeah. So let's talk about some of the signs you say that you may start you to think that maybe this is leading to divorce. And one of the first ones is that simply you've uncoupled. You're not functioning as a couple anymore. Yes. Yeah, sometimes people disengage from each other. So they start hanging out with the friends, going to work events, um, staying online. And instead of focusing on the relationship and doing things as a couple, they start disengaging from each other. One spouse refuses. They're just not trying. Correct. And it's not because they don't want to. They may have gotten into a bad habit of, you know, just not, you know, working with each other to do things that would build the relationship. There's no respect. There's no compromise. And quite frankly, you guys just aren't talking anymore. Right. And the first thing when you don't have communication and your partner is communicating with someone else, that can really be a sign of concern for your marriage that things may not be going so well. You need to make sure that you're, you know, communicating about what you're wants and what your needs are so that you can work together uh, to make sure that those uh, are addressed. So if you need more time and um, you need help with the children or the kids um, and just help with anything around the house, if you start communicating that and your partner is able to reciprocate what your needs and wants are, your relationship has a better chance of survival. Yeah, but you both have to be there to try. Okay, so while you are separated, Again, not that you're planning on getting a divorce, but you do have to be wise about some things, especially women, um, because you work with women a lot and you find that they are just completely broadsided. They are, they're not prepared. One of the things is getting your financial documents in order. Right. You it's best to get them now while you're still living in the house so you can get copies of your insurance um, accounts, your pensions, your bank accounts, everything that you guys have together. You can get those records while you're still living together. Because it's even in divorce, you are entitled to, and vice versa, each other's pensions for a part of your, your marriage. Absolutely. And if you don't know what the assets are and that spouse tries to hide them from you, it makes everything a lot harder. You can hire a private investigator and try to figure out how to get those documents. But it's so much easier if you can get a copy of them while you're still living in the yeah, house. Yeah, and that is a big one and I've heard of people that's happening. Um, credit cards, um, that is another one. Go through and see whose name is on what and if you don't have credit, start credit. Absolutely. I mean, it's easier to get credit when you're both uh, you're able to report two different incomes and then you need those credit cards to help with everyday expenses that you'll need when you're going through a divorce. Why do you say start a, a P.O. box? Because you want to be able to make sure that you're getting your mail, especially if you're getting sensitive documents that are sent to you that are copies of documents that you don't want your spouse to take because you're already having a hard time finding those documents. It's really important you have a separate account, that you, uh, a box that you know they're going into that's secure that you have the key to. Yeah, so, you know, again, it's not that you're planning for divorce, but then again, you are being smart and honest about the situation. Absolutely. You should be communicating with your spouse your, the problems that you're having. But sometimes if you feel like your spouse is going to take advantage of that in some way, but not you know, allowing you to make copies of documents or get information or keep information, then you do have to take those steps to protect yourself. And you do have a wonderful uh, session that you do for women who are going through divorce, have divorced, and you have a new session starting in March. Yes, my new session starting March 25th. You can find it online. You can register online and attend webinars on how to become the heroine of your own life. And you do that. All right, Latrice Milton, thank you so much. Thank you. It is 7.50.